Okay, in this third video, we're basically going to do some testing of our now freshly deployed vPod. And as a quick reminder about how my lab is set up, I've got an existing multi-pod set up going on my physical ACI fabric. Uh, and then I've added virtual pod 10 in a remote uh, vPod. Uh, in pod 1, I've got a virtual machine here at 192.168.1.10. I've already put it into an EPG and established basic uh, networking connectivity inside the pod. In pod number two, I have another virtual machine in another EPG at 1.20. And then over in the VPod, a third virtual machine on the same subnet in another EPG. I've already got contracts and all of that stuff already set up. Now, um, just to keep things simple, I put them all on the same network. They could, of course, be in different networks, and ACI will handle all of the routing for you. If we take a quick look at APIC, just to kind of cement that here, in EPG called Silver, you can see I've got Win8 Silver at 1.11 and Win8 VPod at 1.100. Notice here, um, Win8 Silver is using traditional uh, DVS integration with standard VLANs, whereas in the virtual pod, remember when I set up my domain, I opted for VXLAN, and you can see that reflected here. If I look at the EPG called Gold and I look at its members, you can see I've got Win8 Pod 2 at 1.20. So with that understanding, let's go ahead and quickly test and see what we see. Okay, so I've logged into the console of all three of these virtual machines. This is Win8 Silver in pod number one, uh, and this is uh, Win8 pod two in pod two, and this is Win8 vPod, which of course exists in the vPod. So let's see if we can actually ping uh, between uh, devices in pod one and the device in the vPod. And of course, we can in fact ping. If we do the same thing from that in pod two, just to show you that this actually works in a vPod deployment, uh, we can see that we can actually ping. Now, uh, the other thing to point out is how can we test really quickly if bum traffic is working? And if you remember in my lab, um, I've got Windows machines here, but I do not do not have a Wins server. And when you try to ping by host name, if there's no Wins server, Microsoft behavior is to send a broadcast looking for that machine's host name in order to communicate with it. So if I try to ping, by host name in this case it's going to use bum traffic technologies to, to make it work and in fact you can see that my communication actually does work so i know that everything is working as expected and that's it for this really short third video i hope you've uh, enjoyed it and can use it to your advantage when it comes time to deploy your own vpod thank you very much